All right, today I'm doing my first impressions on the Starbucks Pike Place Roast for an espresso vir virtual. All right, this one comes with eight capsules. Okay, this is different. I had not seen this with the other ones. Comes with a little padding here. And uh, they're nice and neatly placed. Right. Today we will try it by itself with sugar and then with a little bit of oat milk. All right, so this is Pike Place Roast. Okay, got that classic burnt taste. Let me try with sugar. Normally this one, when I was a kid, my mom used to always send me to uh, get this for her. And back in the 90s, there wasn't really much Starbucks. It was only one specific Starbucks in Chicago, which was uh, on Clybourne and was it? Clybourne. Oh man, I'm forgetting the name of the other street, but it's, it's basically right across Pequod's. And that was the only one, it's not even there anymore, but that was the only one that I would go to. And she always was like, make sure you put nutmeg in it. Not too much, just right. <laughs> and sugar. And so this was like kind of this was the cup we would get, basically. So this is a nostalgic cup. Yes, that's that's good with sugar. That It's good if you like Starbucks. Again, I have to always say, if you're a fan of Starbucks coffee, you're gonna like this. If you're comparing this to Nespresso, it's gonna be a little underwhelming, you know. Let me try it with oat milk. Here we go. Pike Place Roast with uh, oat milk. I would say maybe it has like two ounces of oat milk. That's really, that's very smooth. It's very good. I'm getting, like we had the Columbia before this and right now they're both very similar to me in the, in the taste. All right, so again, I do recommend all these Starbucks ones. If you like Starbucks, I think it's a good replacement instead of you having to go get your Starbucks cup. Um, you get these and they're $1.20 a pot versus $2 and change of, of what you would spend per cup at Starbucks. And you get 7.7 .7 ounces. I think the espresso gives you like 1.35 ounces. So yeah, so in my opinion, they're really good and they're a buy if you like Starbucks. Um, otherwise, if you're comparing it to Nespresso, Nespresso is just gonna continue to blow them out the water. Like they they got it down. Nespresso Nespresso pods got it down. So I recommend it. My first impressions were pretty good. Cheers.